Hi everyone, I'm Dean Ramsey, I'm Principal Analyst at CM Forum, uh, and today I'm joined by Brian Schultz from Telia. Um, we're here at DTW talking about digital transformation. So Brian, I understand there's lots going on at Telia at the moment in terms of you revolutionising your um, service operations and making some big changes. Can you tell us a little bit about it? Absolutely, absolutely. What we are, what we are doing in, uh, in Telia Company is that we are having this digital transformation ongoing. We are what we call reinventing the, the connected living. And that means basically that we are um, doing transformation to our products, our processes, uh, surrounded by analytics, IT, and, and not least uh, our people. This we do together with uh, partners. Um, and then again, this is then supported uh, by our information models, uh, where we are, of course, applying, you know, uh, TMF. Uh, um, we have APIs and then our uh, fun non functional requirements like the security, as an example. But at the end of the day, all of this is customer journey experience, and, and that's what is basically fueling the, the transformation. Mm -hmm. You listen to your customers and you, you, you want to make some really fundamental changes. Um, what, what are the kind of IT aspects of that? What, what's, what are the, the pieces of the IT architecture that you're changing fundamentally to make those changes for your customers? In 2019, we as an IT decided to I would say outline the target architecture based on the uh, open digital uh, architecture. In 2020, we uh, gathered uh, and consolidated all the IT units uh, within a uh, Telia company. So we have uh, a group IT constellation that is also based on the ODA framework. So we have, I mean, for instance, I'm heading co-commerce. We have engagement, CRM, and, and so forth. From that perspective, we have set the foundation in order to uh, have a framework, have a, a standardized approach to it. If I take it as an example uh, where we are simplifying and where we are applying the IT components and part of the architecture into this transformation is, for instance, around our commercial order catalog, where we uh, have applied to Ericsson uh, as, a, as a, a product supplier. Here we are, um, I would say, we are developing once uh, and then we are replicating to X amount of, of our opcos. We are operating uh, throughout six countries. And um, we have, uh, I would say, in our roadmaps, in our commercial roadmaps, which have been adapted into a technical roadmap, we have a leading dimension, for instance, for the B2B. We have Sweden as a leading dimension. Uh, equally on B2C, we have Finland. Here, the, the ambition is that we are based on the uh, product specifications in this catalog uh, manager, as an example, we will be able to reuse 80% uh, going across to the next OPCO or the next country. Um, as an example, we have been deploying the, uh, the Ericsson components in our Finnish OPCO uh, on the B2C side. Within AVS, we have a, a first, uh, our cloud-first strategy um, and, and here we have deployed on, on, on AVS, and that is then serving as kind of the foundation for going into the next countries on the B2C side, which in this case will be Norway. And equally on the Swedish side, we are, are doing more or less the same here. We, since it's uh, B2B, we are, um, I would say, uh, we have a demarcation on, on the, uh, on the uh, underpinning um, cloud approach. So we're going uh, private cloud here, though still with the same ambition on the product specification, as an example, we will have 80% reusability towards the, the other of course. That's really interesting to hear because, you know, we, at TM Forum, you know, there's, there's always lots of talk about things like centralizing a technology function to, to exploit those efficiencies that it creates there. But we don't often see that happening on a large scale in the industry because it's a difficult, really difficult thing to do. So really interesting to see it happening in real life. Are, are you seeing any kind of immediate business advantages to, to, to that? Absolutely. I would say um, now we, we launched, for instance, with the BTC in, in, uh, in, in Finland, where we went live with uh, HBO Max. Um, and of course, the time to market here, we should be able you know, to, to safeguard that we can uh, apply this. Uh, so the, the, the time to market, uh, uh, I mean, uh, the offering towards or between the, uh, the countries, the replication. Uh, I would also say when it comes to the automation, uh, there is uh, an upside in, in, in this regard. Um, and then I would say since we are a, a, a traditional CSP, the decoupling is extremely important. We are headless in this meaning as well that 
Um, I mean, the engagement layer uh, on the UI part, etc. I mean, if there is a customer facing API, they can basically consume whatever backends in, in the BSS layer where you can say I'm doing the plumbing as such. Yeah. So time to market, reusability, uh, definitely um, an advantage. And of course the TCO going forward as well. So replicating across should as well be calling out uh, efficiency. It's something that we've been talking about as an industry that we need to fully automate that. Very difficult to do in, in legacy environments with multiple systems and things like that. So um, it's, it's really interesting when, when you see uh, digital services being delivered through self-service portals right. and, and there's an ability to, to, to have a fully automated workflow through that, through, the, through your IT architecture and things happen. And, and you know, I, I know that from when we've spoken before that you, you know, you're, some of the digital services you're, you're um, offering are, are being done in that way already. It's a real life thing. It's not just theory anymore. It's actually Correct. happening. It's, it's um, and yeah, and exactly the zero touch uh, approach here and, and the fulfillment. Uh, so yes, definitely. Right. Definitely. Yeah. So all, all this information we have in a, in a written document too with all the details around uh, the TM4 Remote ODA components that were used and the alignment there with the Ericsson software and uh, that will be available on the TM4 Inform website to download. So Brian, thanks for joining me. Hope you have had a great rest of the show here in Copenhagen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you.